Let's get going, Dave. The Raw and NXT ratings a big. Yeah, they uh, Raw did, Raw did a really big rating, but um, so the basic just for last week, um, uh, Raw was second for the week, and Dynamite was fifth for the week. So it was a big week for wrestling. Uh, the top, um, as you see, the um, where are we got. Um, Raw was second behind the Yankees and Mets game that was on Wednesday night last week. And then uh, third was Formula One. Fourth was 90 Day Fiance and Dynamite was fifth. So um, I guess we'll go from the NXT did 649,000 viewers and an 0.15, which is its best numbers since June. Um, so it is still benefiting from... Uh, I mean, they're still benefiting from all the changes and everything. There's, there's. Well, I think the uh, big, the big thing is there were limited commercial interruptions. Um, that helped too. Yeah, yeah. Um, you cut down on commercial time, then uh, you're gonna, um, you know, you're gonna have a a little bit of a higher rating. It was, um, they were like seventh for the night on cable and uh, third in the time slot, and usually they're like in the twenties or thirties. So it was a a big, um. You know, it was a big increase in everything, but they're benefiting from um, added curiosity. And the Raw number was uh, the biggest since the Raw after WrestleMania uh, with uh, 2,230,000 viewers and an 0.61 in 18 to 49, 0.40 in 18 to 34. So these were big, big numbers. The, the actual total audience was the biggest since the pandemic. It beat the Raw after WrestleMania in total viewers. Um, in 18 to 49, it was behind... Um, the Raw after WrestleMania, and it was also behind the Raw after last year's SummerSlam. So if you're comparing it year to year, last you know, and you look at everything, the Raw after SummerSlam last year did basically the same number. It did 0.64 in 18 to 49 and 0.41 in 18 to 34, which actually is higher, and it also had tougher competition last year. So it's not as, um, you know, it's it's not that different from last year. Um, you know, the fact that last year was a little bit up is also because last year had a few more homes, not a few more, but like about 6% more homes were getting cable. So that number would be, you know, if it was even, it would still be up, but also going against an NFL preseason game. Um, in a sense, I would say last year's number was as impressive. Of course, last year they brought back, uh, what was it? Becky Lynch and Brock Lesnar on, uh, at SummerSlam. So that was good. So there was a lot of interest coming off of that. And this year, obviously, a lot of interest coming off of all of the stories, you know, Paul of X for show and what's going to happen and different angles and things like that. So, a uh, really, really good number. Um, actually, an excellent number. Um, and then, uh, as far as the other stuff, um, the let me just get to um the uh yeah so that's pretty much that's pretty much it for that so they got a lot of momentum it's going to be very tonight's aw ratings may be very interesting because i the, i thought the show was very good but the lineup itself on paper didn't look good um is there added momentum and interest in wrestling or is it just you know i mean they you know this week just because of everything or is it just the WWE product and like to me the thing is is like almost all the news i've heard all week and all the feedback i'd heard all week was almost all wwe and it was almost like AEW got lost in the shuffle in a lot of ways so it's going to be interesting to see um if the number stays to where it normally is then then that's a good thing because it was not any special, you know, any booked as any kind of a special show. Next week's show is a big one. I mean, next week's show actually uh, should be expected to do a big number. And, um, you know, obviously the, the bad number for uh, for Rampage on Friday night kind of um, shook them up because they they did a lot of stuff tonight and they they have pretty loaded up shows. I mean, the, um, the Rampage show is better than it's been in its live also. And then the the Clash show, you know, get three championship matches on Saturday night. I don't know how it'll do, but we'll talk about that as well. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, 
working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.